Alright everyone, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the cloth belt. And we're going to make a flagpole uh, doing it. Okay, so I'm going to put in a cylinder. This is going to be my flagpole. Size are right. Got to make it edible before we do anything. Always try to name everything, especially if your project gets really big. Uh, you should name everything so it doesn't get confusing. Okay, we're going to bring in the flag. We're going to use a plane for the flag. Rotate it 90 degrees. Let's make it look like a f shape of a flag. Alright. Okay, we've got to make it edible. Uh, let's name it flag so we don't get confused. Alright, so um, the flag is obviously going to be a cloth. That's basically what it is. So we're going to go to tags, simulation tags, and we're going to tell it that it's a cloth. Alright, now we're going to go to pole, and we're going to tag, simulation tag, and we're going to put a cloth collider, because that flag is going to touch the pole. We don't want it to go through it. We want it when it touches the pole, we want it to collide with it. Alright, just click off. I'm going to go flag. And now we want to attach the flag to the pole. So to do that, uh, you click on flag, tags, simulation tag, and we're going to put a cloth belt. And what the cloth belt does, it allows you to attach the cloth to any object or even thin air if you want. Um, yep, let's see, and to use it, we have to go into point mode, and what we're going to do, we're going to click the selection tool up here, I, I like to uh, uncheck, only select visible items, if you uncheck it, it will select everything in front and in back of it. But this is a plane, so it really doesn't matter. But it's just a bad habit of mine, or a good habit. Okay. Now we have the point selected. We go back and we click on this tag, this cloth belt tag. And then the, we want all these points to attach to this pole. So all we got to do is grab the pole, drag it down. To the, it says belt on and now it says pole right here where it says belt on so belt on is where these points right here attaches now, but you have to click the set button and once you do that you can see the lines are saying that it's attached to this pole but we have an issue the flag is too far away you don't want the flag to be flying like that because if I just click play that doesn't look right. So what we want to do first, let's go back to polygon uh, model mode. Move the pole to where you want it. You know, looks good. So we go back to the belt tag, and then we click the set button again, and it'll, it'll reset it. And once it's set, there you go. And then you can move the pole around, and it'll go where the pole goes. Now, if you notice, usually for a flagpole, you need the wind. So if you want to add wind force to it, you click on this uh, cloth tag under forces tab down here you have wind direction X, Y, or Z and X would be left or right so positive X, I'm going to put 10 a positive number would go to the right, a negative number to the left so I put 10 there but it doesn't do anything that's because you also have a wind strength so I have the direction of 10 but I don't have no strength so I'm going to put 10 for wind strength and there you go, the wind is blowing, it's blowing pretty hard 
you just have to adjust it to where you like it so I'm gonna put five now as you see this is not blowing as hard and looks a whole lot better and that's about it guys thanks